It is Groove Cruise Week! We are prepping and packing for Groove Cruise 2024. This is gonna be my second Groove Cruise. I went last year in 2023 out of Miami to Labadee, Haiti. This time we're going from Miami to Great Stirrup K and I'm so excited to be going back a second year, this time with Groove Cruise. Like I'm a partner with them, so I'm working with them. I'm gonna be collecting all the content and showing the ins and outs of Groove Cruise and I cannot wait. Right now I am going through my outfit. So Groove Cruise has a bunch of fun themes and there are eight themes total, day themes, night themes. Here they are. And what I'm gonna do is go through all of the stuff that I have on hand. This is a lot to do. I just wanna try my best. And that's kind of what I did last year. I just took stuff that I already had on hand and recycled. So this is what we're looking like. I have all of my bins laid out and then I'm gonna go through. Like I have a pretty good idea of things that I'm gonna wear for a lot of the stuff already um but let's just see what we can mix and match and throw together and see what we can come up with for the theme of represent this is what i'm going so the good thing about these themes is that you can kind of interpret it your own way so they give you like a guideline if you need help trying to narrow things down so you can represent your country your sports team or whatever so in my mind i'm going with representing my country so I've made this skirt. The top is from Shop Delfina. So this is for day one. It's gonna show up in this outfit on Groove Cruise ready to go. So my represent outfit is set. For the welcome to the jungle theme, this is what I'm thinking. The top is from Shop Delfina. The skirt is mine, I think from Forever 21. And then I have these little light up kitty ears that change. And these are from Nocturnal Glow. So I think this would be kind of just like a fun little... And you know, like not everything has to be over the top. There are eight themes, like let's BFFR. So that's why even just a little animal print is enough. Like don't overthink it, have fun with it. And the Groove Racers theme and the checkered top is from Shop Delfina. Skirt is mine, I already had it from Forever 21. And this is cute and simple you are the universe so up close I it's like briefly taped on i have these alien pasties i've always wanted to wear these from shop delfina and then this is like a see-through oh if you could see close like the little stars and moons and things like little cover-up and then swim store here on the beach and then these are really old bottoms from i heard ribs oh my god i'm so excited to wear these little pasties so you are the universe for Naughty Nautical, I pulled out this old rave bra that I made for Imagine Music Festival, I think in 2019, and I just love it, like how mermaid, and then I already had these mermaid bottoms. So this is the vibe, Naughty Nautical. Dancing through the decades. Last year, they also had a similar theme, and I dressed as a disco ball. I just had like a sparkly silver top. I'll try to put a picture of it, but this is definitely giving disco ball again. The bodysuit is from Shop Delphine. It's like the top is like it's really sparkly silver, the bottom is black. But these boots are disco ball boots. Look at these. And they're not the yes, they're heels, but they're not even that high, so they really don't bother me walking around. But there's also so many places to sit and rest on Groove Cruise. Like I feel like I could last all night in my disco ball boots, but this is very much dancing through the decades. For 50 Shades of Nintendo, it's supposed to be Nintendo, but make it naughty, sexy. So I'm gonna be like a little sexy Mario and Alyssa's gonna be Luigi. So I just have this red bathing suit with this little black skirt and Alyssa's gonna wear green. I don't know what her outfit is gonna look like, but we both have the matching like Mario and Luigi hats, so. And for the grand finale of themes, the Captain's Jubilee, I'm going with this really fun, bedazzled and dangly two-piece Shop Delfina set. How fun, I love this. I wore this for EDC Las Vegas in 2021 and I've always wanted a reason to wear it again. So this is definitely giving like party girl Jubilee vibes. I don't even know what Jubilee means. Should I look it up? 
Here's where we are. These are like the regular clothes that I'm taking. I got my bathing suits and swim cover up, something to sleep in, bras, panties, and just like morning daytime clothes. Whether, which I don't know if I'm going to wear or not. Like that's probably just going to be something that I throw on to go have breakfast in and then come back and do a full like glam and outfit thing. So I have all of my outfits, my themed costumes right here. So everything's going to fit on this side. I'm only taking a carry-on size suitcase and a backpack. I'm sharing a room with four other girls. Like this is going to be a tight squeeze, but good thing I've gotten used to just traveling with a carry-on and backpack. So everything will fit in here. And then I've put all of my accessories for all of my outfits in this bag. And then something fun. I am taking so ooh, so many pasties and face gems from Shop Delfina. And I'm going to be handing them out all weekend. So if you're watching this and you're going on Groove Cruise, I got goodies for you. I forgot to mention that today is Sunday. So I can only do so much packing since we actually leave Wednesday morning. I got all my costumes and regular outfits, shoes, things like that. But I also have to go into the office on Tuesday so I can't fully pack up all my makeup. I guess I can start packing up my toiletries though. But for now, I'm as far as I can get. So the next thing I'm going to do is review the Groove Cruise Survival Guide. Let me show you. Great captain should have got this. So this is the ins and outs of Groove Cruise, your guide to making the most out of your Groove Cruise experience. So I'm going to run through this real quick and make sure that I'm all squared away. Um, this is like the contents of what's all in there, the mandatory check-in process. I've already done that. There's an app for Norwegian Cruise Line if you wanna download that. And then it kind of breaks down. So like I pulled out my passport. And so I'm just gonna go through this and it just kind of tells you a little bit about it. I'm from Miami, I don't need to know directions to the port and I'm Ubering there so I don't need to park. Um, but it gives you everything about checking your luggage and um, the types of events, activities, some pre-party things. Okay, so I'm gonna go through this and make sure I have everything I need. From the survival guide, I wrote down a few key things that I thought were important for me. So I wrote down all the complimentary dining options because last time I only ate at the buffet every single day and that pissed me off. So there are tons of options on board, but there are six free options. And on your Norwegian cruise line app, it tells you which one's complimentary and which one's specialty. Specialty dining is the one that you have to pay for if it's all a card or one set price. So take a look at that. There is a pre-party on Tuesday night at M2, my favorite venue here in Miami, and it's on South Beach. So 10 p.m. to 3 a.m. It's only for Groove Cruise attendees, and it's free. Let's see what else. Wi-Fi is available on board. I will have to get a Wi-Fi package because I'll be creating content all weekend. There's a basic one for $30 a day, which is just like texting, and then a premium one for $40 a day to actually be on social media and posting. Still one more fee that everybody's gonna have to pay, which is the gratuities fee. It's like $64.95 that we're all gonna be charged once we get on board. Door decorating is a huge part of Groove Cruise. I remember seeing so many doors decorated, but apparently, on Norwegian Cruise Line, we cannot decorate our doors. And then it goes into all the basic other stuff, um, like just artist etiquette, because we're going to see artists walking around ships. So you want to be respectful. And the same thing with like respecting our fellow captains, like even though it's a party, you, you don't want to be blasting your music all night long. And then obviously, um, there's going to be a lot of us fun and in costumes can be revealing like just have respect and consent do not touch anybody that you should not be touching and it just it just kind of gives you a breakdown of everything the survivor code super helpful so if you haven't already looked at it go ahead and check it out are you ready for <laughs> cruise cruise